Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I painted this translucent, surreal, uh, whimsical umbrella. I'm using acrylic today. Again, feel free to use any uh, medium that you're more comfortable using. Most of the techniques can be applied to different mediums. If you want to see how I finish this piece off by painting the goldfish, then you can head over to my Patreon page where you can support me as an artist and I offer more exclusive content. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that I'm doing for this umbrella is blocking in some of the shadows and that's the first thing I'm doing. You'll see I have the umbrella very very lightly sketched out already, kind of um, avoided painting some of the background in certain areas just so I could help define it later on. Uh, obviously you'd want to sketch it out if you're just doing a umbrella by itself. Um, so what I'm doing is just blocking in the shadows using the angle brush to put down the, the colour basically and then using the mop brush to really soften out those edges. I'm not worried too much if it is a bit rough looking at this point. Uh, it's kind of want that rough looking uh, edges and sort of uh, shapes in between just because transparent uh, material often has that. And so I'm doing kind of the similar thing with the white paint now. I'm sort of lining each segment of the umbrella and then I'm sort of really softening those edges with the mop brush and my finger just to um, not really have it be so harsh. And at this point it kind of looks a bit like a jellyfish <laughs> which has given me an idea for a new piece. Um, so that would be a, that's a cool thing there. Don't forget to do the inside obviously as well as if you are painting something kind of slightly in like I am the umbrella then don't forget to cover some of um, that uh, subject. Uh, as you can see the cat ears are slightly covered by the umbrella because he is inside the umbrella. Now I'm simply taking my white angle brush and I'm smudging in really roughly some white, um, making the edges pointed like an umbrella would be, uh, and just sort of adding in those rough, rough highlights. We don't want this to be absolutely perfect because again, it is a transparent material and they're not always perfect. Uh, so we're just going in and adding in all the lines and all the highlighted areas with the white and the angle brush and then smudging out any areas where I wanted to be a bit softer. And then finally I am mapping out the uh, handle of the umbrella. I'm adding a little spike up there at the top and then trying to keep it as straight as I can. Uh, doing this free-handed is a little tricky so maybe you'd want to use a ruler or some kind of uh, stick or something to keep you straight. Uh, and then just adding in some more shadows into the umbrella itself using just some black and then smudging it out with my finger. Finally, I'm adding some highlights to the actual handle itself. And then you can go in again and add any more little highlights with some white all over the umbrella wherever you think the light or the rain might be hitting it. So that was just a really easy quick tutorial on doing a transparent umbrella. You want to keep it fairly light, uh, don't let anything get too solid paint wise uh, because you still want to see what is in the umbrella itself. So that is everything for this tutorial. If you want to see how I finish this painting with the goldfish, then you can head over to my Patreon page where you can support me as an artist and I offer much more exclusive content. So until next time.